if it's about working together so your energy is harnessed better and so that you can restore a quality of life and a good quality of life, the answer is yes. But if you think that this is some way to get rich, then you are not ready to be an executor. There is nothing about this that is about getting rich. Well, let's continue on some of the follow-ups before we wrap up tonight. We've covered a lot of ground tonight. I know some of it might seem a bit disjointed, but the theme, again, is understanding some of the principles of control, the presumptions of control, some of the remedy that we're working through, and, and, so, and really the reality of this role, of what it actually means to be an executor. Well, when we look at the structure of corporations and we look at trust and trust law, everything in their system, everything is an aspect of trust. And it's why they've spent so much time making it sound as complicated as it can be, hiding aspects of it. They hid the role of executor to the point that when we started to investigate the roles of trust, we didn't have a full appreciation of it. Complicating descriptions like administrator. I heard the other day the word administrator being used. The word administrator is another word for trust. Trustee, trust. So again, the language is used time and time again to trick us into shifting roles from the director to the employee to the beneficiary. Everything in their world is trust. And the reason that everything in the world is trust is because trust gives them the shell structure, the structure of enclosure, the same that they have used to enclose common wealth, common property, and to privatise it. So trust to them is a very powerful weapon based on the presumptions. Now I'm happy to report in terms of uh, confronting those presumptions, the August the 15th package, which addresses the trust, the Attorney Regis Trust, that the package from America has gone, and I want to thank Ron and those that work with that. I'm also happy to report that the uh, team in England working on that are ready to send uh, soon. And uh, I'm hoping that those uh, who have nominated in Canada to help will be uh, willing to step up now and have that completed, as well as those in Australia. And then the package then will be completed. And this will be the second package that we sent out following the one in June the 12th, which had dealt with the Pontifex Romanus. And once this goes out, Attorney Regis being the eternal crown, the second master trust of trust, the one that created the crown, the crown company, the crown corporation, the multiple levels of crowns that we've spoken of before, then that leaves a third and final package before the Day of Judgment at the end of the year, which will be going out to coincide with um, Halloween or um, Hallow's Eve, where we address the law and we address our intent and our will, our spirit, so that they will be given the third notice that the trust of convocation has been dissolved. The trust of control, the trust of enclosure of our will. Now in terms of housekeeping, let me just bring up to speed with where we're at because I've spoken about money, I've spoken about the remedies, I've spoken about communities. The court sites have been updated. The registration of them won't be turned on yet, but the updated notes will be turned on in the next two days. And that means that the notes on one-heaven.org in terms of remedy will be turned off. So what will happen on One Heaven is One Heaven 
principally, as it really should be, will be a site dedicated to the covenant, to these historic actions that are taking place, and to, of course, the canons of law. The court sites will then become the site of remedy and assistance to members in their legal matters. As far as the money is concerned, the updates that have been happening to the ledgers are almost complete. And both the access to your own account as a member and to the registers will be available through the workbench which is being turned on and needs to be turned on the next couple of weeks. So it's been a lot of work. And there's an example of showing you how much work. I just will wrap up with one thing before we, we end tonight. We've covered a lot tonight. If you go to the site americas-union.org or globe-union.org or any of the unions and you have a look at the charter, or you go to University of Acadia and have a look at the, the list. What you'll see is a huge amount of work in preparing the charters, being the deeds of trust for the unions. And these are the large catch-all trusts within will be created or are being created, the universities and then the provinces and then the campuses. And it's the campuses that bring to life this whole structure. But go and have a look, if you do have a chance, please, at these charters, because these charters already give you the flesh and the instruction on how the campuses are to be created, on how the provinces are to be created, on the roles and how the universities are being created. And the individual charters for those and the registration process for those will merely be an extraction of what has already been now done. When you're going to have a look, consider the amount of structure and preparation that has been provided there on the fabric of how a society might balance itself. Go and have a look at the back end of those charters and see the different codes of law. There are 33 codes of law that have been created. Never, ever before has there ever been an attempt to create a comprehensive structure of policies and forms in the function of a society. Now, some may argue we don't need it. I've, I've heard people, and I've actually had people face-to-face -face say to me, we don't need this. We don't need all these laws. The only laws we need are in a handful of pages in Scripture or in some other reference. Now, I don't dispute the intent, the golden rule, and the essence that is given to us through divine inspiration is a fundamental point of law. But in terms of practical implementation, that is the height of naivety. A society functions now as a complex model. Unless you want to live in the medieval ages and eke out a few potatoes and see your children die of some terrible disease, a modern society needs health. It needs education. It needs transport. It needs sensible building. It needs commerce and trade rules. It needs incorporation. It needs protection of, its, of, of an honouring of property. It needs environment. It needs a whole range of things. If you think a society can simply run itself, then uh, similar to people who are not ready to, to be executives, I think it's worth going and just contemplating what it is to be a steward of society. Now, if you, I or anyone, is going to make a difference to our world, it is to end the incompetence of those in power. My issue with President Obama and his administration isn't whether they are simply the uh, government of the District of Columbia usurping the role of, of the United States. My primary issue with them is their incompetence. 
the overwhelming incompetence at government. They have no sense of education. They have no sense of health. They have no sense of finance. They have no sense of, of employment. They have no sense of in industry. None. They complete and utter idiots. I'm sick of idiots. Societies need competent, comprehensive structures. There's a reason health is falling apart. Obvious, sensible reasons why health is falling apart. And it's not simply because they're draining fortunes out to pay for artificial painkillers at the expense of natural painkillers that for millennia were free. That's one. Another is the way that they've structured the health system. There's a reason that education has become such an abomination. Not the least the fact that the one thing that should be sacrosanct, being the curriculum, being the source of material taught to our children, is the one thing they can change at will. They can elect the books every year. There's a group in Texas that decide, ultimately, what the kids in America read. A secret group. I mean, it is absolutely mad. Madness. Please have a look, because it's not enough simply to say these people are terrible, kick them out and hope for the best. I tell you the one thing. People talk about upcoming disasters. One in two people died in the world. Close to 60 million people died almost 2,000 years ago with the plague. Well, 1,600 years ago with the plague, so it went through. It's not as if the world has not seen disaster before. The world has seen disaster after disaster. When Thera, the island of Thera, which Santorini is part of, massive volcano exploded in the centre of, of the Mediterranean, it wreaked havoc across the world. And millions died, 1,500 BCE more than 3,500 years ago. It's not as if the world has not seen disaster before. But the one difference this time round is we will have a model, a comprehensive, competent, alternative model, hopefully with you, all of you also willing to be competent to provide to our societies to help them and not simply see the same parasites, the same incompetence, the same madness come back. Well, I think I've covered a fair bit tonight, and I, I know I've been a bit emotional talking about models, but I do hope you read it. It has taken years of work. Day and night it has taken to prepare this. And it is not far from finished because all that I have provided is a, is a framework and an architecture. It means nothing until you have your own part in it, you have validated it, you have corrected it. At the end of the day, UK, there is an open source model. I hope as you go through this material that you find uh, knowledge in it, that you find empathy in it, and that you will ultimately help and own it because at the end of the day, it is yours as much as it is anyone else's. Well, with all that tonight, I'm going to stop now and I'm going to ask for questions on the chat. And if you want to talk live, please press star eight. Thanks very, very much. And let's start answering some of the questions I'm sure you have. Thank you. Okay, I don't see anyone yet saying they want to talk, uh, so I'm going to go through and see what questions people have asked on the chat. Please, if you want to chat, just click star eight, I think it is, and it will appear there, and I'll be able to uh, put you in the queue and uh, unmute you and look forward to speaking with you. Okay, uh, let's have a look. I guess 18 has a, a statement, 
My injury case going on for two years, lawyer said he can't get policy value on other drivers.